Molveni, 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 molveni. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where everything is absolutely always forever rainbow. I don't know when I'm gonna stop that. I'm not even consistent with that. Anyway, you know, I was going through my subscribers and just checking like what I've won because sometimes I feel like there's no humans behind the numbers that are actually viewing because also I don't get too many views but the truth is every view matters in itself because someone gave me the time and they finished the video as you can see the title below it's challenge yourself i've been on about that if you've watched this channel for like moons and million years you'll know Satems loves anything that comes with evolution and humans are one of that isn't it art is that and every beautiful thing that has a life in it so i've been putting myself on the hot seat something that i've been wanting to do from the beginning of this year which is a like a heels workshop and i've been like yeah but before we even get into that I need to do some updates you're basically my friends and I am so proud of this moment <laughs> I'm so proud of this moment and I want to share I have finally done my tattoo this is my very first tattoo it says you will grow into it which is obviously an inside joke and something very important to me because it really has stuck in my mind and has created some feud at some point in my life because I was very angry at my mom about both of my mothers in terms of just you can't be buying me everything and saying I'm gonna grow into it anyway the inside joke is um when I was young I was always tiny so small and my mom always wanted to buy me big things and she would always say you will grow into it and the funny thing about this is that I have two moms um, my biological one of course and then my foster mom but when I was at home before I even had a foster mom my mom was already buying me very big things or getting me hang um hand-me-downs that are so humongous and I'm just like I will be done and I need something new something stems but with that came in my mind I was like if I one day want to be a person that is able to afford myself opportunities with new things gorgeous clothing that I can even design or even not just for clothing but it was mainly clothes and shoes where my mom bought me big things and they were like you will grow into it and I'm sure you can relate to that um, but for me it was all about shaping that opportunity when you get something um, that you're not necessarily satisfied with the universe is giving it to you on purpose it's a tool it's a resource and how you choose to utilize it comes your next one that is going to be beneficial in your journey and for me it was that I was like I love fashion I love clothes and how do I take something that is not necessarily desirable oh, on my side right now but make it desirable and also bring about options play around with color um, and yeah it's also you will grow into it but if you have that resource you shape it you mold it into exactly what you want so that's the tattoo and then we did a runway I tried recording that it was so much it was a lot it was too much work and I was like yeah you know what I'm also just gonna wait for the final product I'll just put it is it the side? I think it's this side, yes. I'll just put it here. Some of you might have seen it. It was a, just a cute man, menswear week um, runway and it was a goal again this year. I said I had to do some sort of runway even if it's virtual. And again, this is my second opportunity with this designer. It's XM Creation. I'm currently wearing them. Also, you would have seen this on my on my trailer for what I'm going to be talking about on this video and why it is so much about challenging yourself because for me what I what I'm starting now is essentially that I'm not expecting it to be boom explode and everyone is into it but essentially playing and growing it like a baby but I'm not going to get into that topic right now I just want to say look at this makeup I know I would like to better it Mara I feel like it's giving me a sort of confidence like I actually did everything <laughs> what this is me growing i was never able to do makeup and i always looked at the people that can i'm not saying i'm amazing right now but i'm saying i, I actually did and i'm sitting in front of the camera saying hello darling <laughs> anyway um yes please just if you see something that i can possibly do or add and if you like or want me to try when it comes to makeup please just comment on the box below darling uh, this is the most important part of this video um afro letto <laughs> afro letters afro letters is a celebration of your boldness 
of your fierceness, of your passion and your Africanness. Or at least the root of if you are not a person that really origin or at least define yourself as that. We all are Africans at some point, you know. And as a proud African and, and as a person that defines their art or at least the inspiration comes from Africanness, everything that I understand and have experienced from my people, my culture as Umkosa, but beyond just my culture, just the people, the environment, the essence that as a South African, that we don't find it difficult to connect with the world because of just what we've gone through and the kind of exposure that we've gotten from just the online um, online world that is occurring. So as a South African, I'm very proud that this is what we are building in this country. This is what we get to experience. There's a lot of growth that needs to incur. That's fine. But in terms of the basis of an experience, I Fabulous. So, like I said, Afrolatus is a celebration, but also it's, when I think about it, it's like, honestly, it's dancing on hills and playing with the rhythm, with moments and having a conversation with sound, with sound, sorry, with sound and then presenting that um, to yourself first. And giving it to the universe and whoever connects with it it's also theirs and i would love to do that with you as much as i can everywhere i can possibly touch that of course right now it's gonna debut in cape town i am Kiptonian, and for me this is a proud moment i'm doing it at home it is my comfort zone yes but also i do know a lot of the spaces and the people and beyond that for me to start something so beautiful and I know that I'm going to carry along with my life, everywhere I travel, I'm going to find a damn dance studio and we're going to have Afro letters in that country. It's important. It's connecting it with my family, with my friends, with everyone that I've encompassed on my journey. And it's something that I'm challenging myself with. Yes, I walk on heels a lot and I absolutely love the confidence that it comes with, of course. But at the same time, I, am, I can be very shy and be very nervous when it comes to the art itself because it's so personal and because I've made it so personal and made it so important within the journey I know also after teaching when I was in Joburg this is something that I want to do more I want to choreograph I want to use music sound the heels the feet you know the space of the people um, as means of communication movement darling anyway so it's not an insecurity, but it is something that is very special to me to share any sort of art. And this is dance. And whoever I get to experience my dance sessions with um, from today to whenever, I will always remember your name and I will always appreciate you because it really does matter that you've given and shared the time that you have in your life. So if you're brand new here, or even if you're not brand new, Afro Letters is a dance workshop or slash dance classes that you can take it's for everyone any color bring the blues bring the pinks and bring the purples on the line black white colored and you can go down to the browns every shade i love it if it's anything it's not just about you being from africa or african but it's also sharing that experience and expanding it you know <laughs> And, <laughs> and for now, I'm in Cape Town on the 11th, 25th and the 2nd, 25th of September and then 2nd of October. If you can pop in, honestly, if you can't afford, you can just hit me up. If it's anything, it's not about the money, it's about the experience and I cannot wait to expand that experience with more and more and more people. Afro Letters is such a tiny little baby and if it's anything, if I ever wanted to be a wise one, a mature one, I need to start from day one because darling, if not me, then who? If not now, then when? If not there at 79 on Roland Street, then where? Do you know what I'm saying? So, of course, we have so many ways. But for now, for now, it's going to be on 79 on Roland. That's a beautiful place. I really love it. It's It has a beautiful Cape Town scenery. And I do want that to be part of the experience. I'm not sure about wine. I wanted to also have like a wine glass kind of um, experience before you start. Just comment on the box below and tell me how you feel about that. Otherwise, it's not just about the wine, of course. It's the experience. Being on heels, elevating yourself and using some... 
African rhythms <laughs> to just enjoy your dance experience. Once again, thank you so much for always supporting my channel. I do appreciate it. If you're brand new on this channel and you're not part of the darling family, please don't forget to subscribe down below. Click that bell button so that you can get an instant notification whenever I do upload. Uh.